Welcome to day three of my morning ritual series, where for the next week I will upload a brand new video so we can meet on the mat and start the day the perfect way together. Please begin by sitting on your heels, nice and comfortable hands on your chest, eyes closed, shoulders back relaxed and spine straight. Begin to slow down your breathing, filling and emptying your lungs with every in and exhale. Using the breath, the gentle rise and fall of your chest with every in and exhale to bring you into this present moment. Whatever stress or worry or anxiety you may be holding on to at this time, let it go using your exhale. Maybe it feels good for you to make an audible exhale. Breathing in deep, filling your lungs and as you exhale, <sighs> Let it go. Now let's just take this moment to consider all of the things in our life that we are grateful for. A little moment to set an intention for this class or your day or even your life in general. On your next inhalation, lift and extend through the arms up above your head. As you exhale, bring your palms together and draw your hands in prayer down to the heart. Now let's come to all fours position, tabletop foundation, knees under hips and hands under shoulders. Now turn around your hands so that your fingertips are pointing towards your knees. We are going to stretch out the arms and wrists in a unique way, so just gently move forwards and backwards. As you come forwards, you can bring a little bend into the elbow and even come a little further towards the floor with your chest. Exploring the rest of your range of movement, so dropping maybe the belly, lifting the chin and chest, rolling through the spine and pushing back into the hips. Just see what feels good for you. As your body starts to warm up and open up, you can also increase your range of movement here. Now let's begin to release and come back onto our heels, releasing the hands and sitting back down on your heels. Now releasing the wrists, bring your hands into fists and just gently rotate at the wrist. Now let's come back into tabletop foundation with your fingers pointing forward. Let's take our range of movement one step further and begin moving through some cat cows, but rolling through the entire body. If a normal cat cow is enough for you today, then please do that. Otherwise, try exploring a new range of motion with me, creating as much movement through the spine as you can. Now, on your next inhale, let's transition to downward facing dog, slowly lengthening through the legs and lowering your heels down to the ground, releasing your neck and lifting and lowering one heel and then the other as we walk out our dog and warm up the backs of the legs. Now, gently lowering both of your heels, let's rest here in our downward dog just for one deep breath in. And as you exhale, rolling out to high plank, dropping your knees, chest, keeping the elbows into the body and peeling your shoulders back as you inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale as you push yourself back to downward facing dog. Let's take a couple of deep breaths here in our downward facing dog. Really fill and empty your lungs with every in and exhale. On your next inhale, step your right foot up between the hands, gently lower your left knee and lift the upper body up to low lunge. Draw your elbows down to cactus arms, inhale, extend and exhale, lower those elbows. Let's repeat this a couple more times, keeping your core engaged and looking forward. Now let's sweep the arms up, lift that back knee and rise to high lunge. 
transitioning your weight into your front right heel we're going to move forward and drop your hands down in front of that right foot extending and lifting the back left leg keeping your core engaged and your hips nice and balanced let's take a couple of deep breaths here just holding this position On your next exhale, let's slowly come to standing. Bring your left knee with you. As you come to standing, slowly lifting that left knee up. And then bring that left foot behind you, taking the foot in your hands. Draw your left heel to your glute muscle. Shoulders back, core engaged. Like the first stage of dancing pose. Just holding it here. When you're ready, release that foot and roll up to standing, rolling through the spine and taking a gentle back bend. Sweep the body down and move to forward fold. Inhale to halfway lengthen and exhale, step back with your left leg, moving into high plank and moving through your chaturanga. Inhale as you move to upward facing dog. And exhale as you lift and push back those hips, transitioning to downward facing dog. Inhale as you step that left leg up between the hands. Exhale as you lower your right knee. Inhale as you lift your upper body to low lunge, extending through the arms and taking cactus arms again. Exhaling as you draw those elbows down and inhaling as you extend them back up again. One more time. And now let's sweep those arms up, lift that back knee and come to high lunge. Transitioning your body weight to that front left heel and moving those hands forward and down in front of your left foot. Lifting up through the back right leg, keeping your hips balanced, core engaged. One more deep breath in, holding your half split. And as you exhale, let's release and lift that right knee up as we move to a standing position. Draw that knee up as you lift. And then we're going to draw that leg back behind us, holding onto that right foot with both hands if you can, drawing that heel towards the glute muscle again, working towards keeping your spine as straight as possible, shoulders back and looking forward. And let's release, dropping that right foot down beside the left. Roll through the body, coming into another gentle back bend. And release to forward fold. Inhale to halfway lengthen. Exhale, jump or step back to high plank and move through your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg to three-legged dog. Exhale, stack those hips and slowly allow that left foot to come down, guided and well controlled as you transition to wild thing or flipped dog. Move into this transition nice and slow using your core strength for control. Lift through those hips, inhale and exhale, release that left arm back behind you. Now bringing that left hand down beside your right and transitioning back to three-legged dog. Bringing that left knee up to the front, resting in between your hands and transitioning into pigeon pose. For anyone with tight hips, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how you can use a yoga block in your pigeon pose to make the pose more accessible. Whenever you're ready, let's move into pigeon. Exhaling as we come down, resting your forehead on your hands, releasing your body weight into the stretch, closing your eyes and just allowing yourself to be guided into relaxation through your breathing, filling and emptying your lungs with every in and exhale.
Let's share one more deep breath in together here. And as we exhale, let's bring our hands beneath our shoulders, extending through the arms, peeling those shoulders back and returning to a seated position. I'm going to offer you an option here to take that back right foot. Stay in pigeon if this is too much. Gently with care for the knees, drawing that foot in and then back out, pulsing it towards the glute muscle. If you are able, you can take a full mermaid pose here. Please be respectful of your physical boundaries. Now I am demonstrating a full mermaid pose, but you can just hold your hands in front of you like I'm also demonstrating now. Taking whichever variation works best for you, if either at all. Now let's release and relax, opening out both arms. Slowly allow that right foot to come back to the mat. Now let's bring your hands down and lift the body back to downward facing dog. Pedaling out your downward facing dog, just releasing those knees and then bringing those heels down, moving a little deeper if you can. Now let's roll through the body coming into high plank and move through our chaturanga, exhaling as you come down, inhaling to upward facing dog and exhaling to downward facing dog. Moving into the other side, let's lift the right leg to three-legged dog, inhale, exhale as you stack your hips and with control core engage you can slowly guide your right toes down behind you and transition into wild thing inhale as you lift high through those hips allowing your right arm to point towards the front of the mat now let's release coming back to three-legged dog extending your right leg and then leading with your right knee bringing it between your hands and transitioning to pigeon pose Inhale as you extend through the arms and exhale as you release and lower, coming into a forward fold, resting your forehead on your hands, releasing any tension you may still be holding through the body. Deep, slow breathing here, allowing yourself to let go. On your next inhale, let's peel those shoulders back. And if you joined me on the other side with the mermaid variations, then let's do the same on this side. Please repeat whatever it is you did last time. So we begin by lifting and lowering that foot, just exploring what feels good through that knee. And then if it feels okay for you and you are ready, you can move into a deeper variation of the stretch, coming into one of the mermaid variations either holding your hands in front of you, resting that left foot in the inner elbow of your left arm and then holding your hands in front of you. And then to go a step further, you can lift and go into that full mermaid variation as I am demonstrating now. One final deep breath in together here, wherever you are, and as you exhale, let's release. Opening through the arms, releasing that back foot, and transitioning back to downward facing dog. Again, taking a moment to walk out your dog. When you're ready, let's roll out through the body, coming back into high plank. Exhale, lower to Chaturanga. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. And exhale, push back to Downward Facing Dog. Begin to walk up the central line of your yoga mat, making your way up to the hands. Moving into Forward Fold. Inhale to halfway lengthen and exhale, bend into those knees, slowly lower your bum to the ground. Allow the rest of your body to follow 
Releasing the back vertebra by vertebra. Draw the knees into the chest. Taking a gentle rock from side to side if that feels good. Now releasing the soles of both feet down in front of you, let's move to a bridge, lifting the hips up as high as you can. Tuck the pelvis, release your bridge and slowly lower your lower back. Bring the soles of your feet together and open out through the knee, coming into a reclined butterfly. Resting your hands on your lower abdomen, close your eyes and begin to lengthen the breath. Slowing the breath down, moving back into our present awareness through the breath. Stay here as long as you need. Just bringing your mind back to your intention that you set at the beginning of the class. Thank you so much for joining me. It is truly such an honor that you choose to practice yoga with me. If you enjoyed the class, subscribe now. For the rest of the week, I will be uploading another morning rituals class. So let's continue to start the day in the perfect way together. Wishing you a beautiful day. Namaste.